Ciao, my name is Rafael Moura and welcome to another How To's with Blueback. On this video, we're going to show you how to use the cut seismic functionality, but before that, let's reflect a little bit on duct tapes. If you like Star Wars, duct tape is like the Force. It has a light side, a dark side, and it holds the universe together. Going back to the main topic of this video, why to cut your seismic? First of all, by cropping your volume, you speed up processes which use seismic cubes as input. Another reason to do so is to constrain the amount of seismic data shared among partners. So you can use any polygons of any shape to constrain laterally your cropping of your cube. And also, if you're in a scenario with multiple reservoir levels, you can add surfaces also as a constraining object. The output of this workflow are new seismic cubes. Let's have a look on the workflow. So here we're displaying seismic with one surface and the first step we need to do is to create a polygon. If we go to the process tab under utilities, make edit polygons and we select the icon to start creating a polygon. Let's create a polygon of any shape. By double clicking on it you can close your polygon. I say yes and now I launch from the blue back home icon the tools and if I use the filter to look for the cut functionality I can select the cut functionality and I can see that it's only available on the geophysics toolbar and now by highlighting the cube on the input tree I can use the blue arrow to add to this process I'll do the same with the polygon use the blue arrow again and you can either choose to keep the inside or the outside as the output and in my case I'm going to use a top and base surface as a constraining object as well. So let's filter, I would like to find my BCU. Um, I can select it and for the base of the cropping I'm going to use the Ativa top. It found already and I'm going to output my new volume with the name new volume. Now I hit the OK button, Petrol launched the process and start to load my new cube. Now if we go to the top of the input tree, I can highlight my new sections. If we highlight the 3D viewer, I can see already that the seismic has been is following my polygon and also the shape of my surface. Let's toggle off the original seismic and as well my polygon and I can now with a time slice toggle off my surface and as you can see it's following the shapes that I used as a constraint point. As I move my plane around it keeps on following. Alright if you have further questions on the cut seismic functionality or others, please contact us through our sales at Blueback Reservoir or access our support channel. Ciao!